Hello everyone welcome to the technical training of SHL technical support team. Today we would like to introduce to everybody about theoretical of water soluble cutting oil. The presentation will consist of three parts. The first, introducing about metal working fluid. In this content, we will have three small contents, that is the definition, classification of cutting oil and selection of cutting oil. The second, we will learn about water soluble cutting oils. With contents such as definition, classification, water soluble cutting oil, composition of water soluble cutting oil. And the final is management and analysis of used oil. The first about definition of cutting. Cutting is process that material is cut using tools to obtain the specific shape of the material. Many chips is produced during metal cutting. About function of cutting oil. When processing metal, problems often arise such as Occurrence of wear and heat generation, appears smoke and lots of chips. Cutting oil function. The first, cooling reduces heat and friction between the cutting tool and the material. The second, preventing burning and smoking. The third, removing the fines, chips, and swarf from the tool and material. All of the above functions contribute to improving the quality of the product. About classification of cutting oil. Depending on the processing method, processing oils can be divided into the following types. Protective metalworking oil creates an anti-adhesion film between parts and materials. Metal cutting oil, reduces temperature and increases wear resistance. Prevent metal deformation due to excessive friction, hot heat causes expansion of the workpiece to reduce the accuracy. Reduce friction between parts on the mold or tool. Use cutting oil for smooth, precise machining. Supports chip formation. Clean details and equipment. In addition, it is necessary to rely on the machining speed and the lubrication principle to select the most optimal oil properties. Currently, there are many types of metalworking oils, but mainly divided into two groups, water-based oils and non-aqueous oils. About the composition of these two oils. For neat cutting oil, its composition includes, base oil, lubricity additives, extreme pressure additives. Composition of water-soluble cutting oil includes, water, base oil, surfactants, lubricity additives, alkali. Depending on the processing method and technical requirements, people choose the type of cutting oil. Looking at the comparison table of neat oil and water-soluble cutting oil, we can see the advantages and disadvantages of each type of oil. For water-soluble oil, the most prominent feature is excellent cooling ability and is more economical than neat oils. For neat oil, most of the properties such as tool life, lubricity, rust prevention and anti-decaying are very good. The phenomenon of metal deformation due to overheating or friction is a very common phenomenon in metalworking. Using metalworking oil is one solution. To prevent deformation during machining. Looking at the table, we can see that for common iron and steel materials, aluminum corresponding to it are simple processing methods such as turning, milling, drilling, usually will use water-soluble cutting oil because of demand for high cooling. As for materials with higher hardness such as high alloy steel, stainless steel and for difficult machining methods such as threading, swirling inside the hole, it is often used neat oil because of the high lubrication requirements. Next, we learn about water-soluble oil. Definition and classification of water phase cutting oil. Water phase cutting oil is an oil that needs to be mixed with a solvent water to form emulsion. When dry, it leaves a thin film that protects the tool and the workpiece very well. Divided into three types. Type 1. Emulsion. It is made up of components that are insoluble in water such as mineral base oils, fatty oils and surfactants to disperse water-insoluble ingredients. When diluted in water, the insoluble component is dispersed into quite small particles, making the solution milky white. Type 2. Semi-synthetic. Component are polar synthetic compounds that are soluble in water, mineral oils and surfactants. When mixed with water, because there are many water-soluble components, it is better to disperse the insoluble components to help form very small emulsions. Therefore, semi-synthetic water-based cutting oils often form an almost transparent solution when mixed. Lighter white. Type 3. Synthetic. Base oil components are mainly synthetic oils with the ability to dissolve in water, so when diluted in water it forms a clear solution. For emulsion oil, the advantage of this type is its excellent lubricity. 
For synthetic and semi-synthetic oils, the outstanding advantage is that they have very good anti-corrosion and anti-rust properties, so they are often used for more grinding processes. About component of water-soluble cutting oil. It consists of water, base oil, surfactant, alkali, lubricant additive. Water is the main component in water-soluble cutting oils. It can account for 90-99% of the oil-water mix used. Corrosion, scale, foaming, rusting or most quality problems can all be caused by the quality of the water used in the blending process. The first, water hardness. Water with a temporary hardness greater than 100 ppm is considered hard water, below that is considered soft water. In most test analysis results, the total hardness parameter will give the most obvious assessment of water quality. The hardness of water is determined by the content of dissolved minerals in the water, mainly due to salts containing Kanchi and Magi ions. Water hardness is divided into two types. Types 1 temporal hardness or carbonate hardness, formed by Ca and Mg carbonate salts and bicarbonates, which are mainly bicarbonates because of the carbonate salts of calcium and magnesium is almost insoluble in water. Types 2 permanent hardness, created by other salts of Kanchi and Magi such as sulfate, chloride. Permanent hardness can only be changed by complicated and expensive methods. Money. The second, about effect of dissolved ions in water. Alkalinity. There are two types of alkalinity that exist in water, permanent alkalinity and temporary alkalinity. Water-soluble cutting oils generally work well at pH from 8.8 .8 to 9.5. They require a certain amount of alkali for good cleaning performance, corrosion control, increased resistance to rot. However, high alkalinity will increase the pH causing metal surface staining and skin irritation. Chloride ion, when the concentration of chloride in water mixed with cutting oil is high, above 50 ppm, it will make it more difficult for the product to control rust corrosion. Sulfate ion, although not as much as chloride, it also causes problems. Problem in the rust resistance of cutting oils. In addition, does it speed up the process? Formation and growth of bacteria. When the content of sulfate ions exceeds 100 ppm also requires greater oil concentration to control corrosion and microorganisms. Phosphate ions, contribute to total alkalinity and and stimulate microbial growth leading to skin irritation and odor problems. Next, about select water source. Untreated water always contains impurities and microorganisms, even water. Rain is also not pure enough. Impurities can be used causing the cutting oil to be degraded. Therefore, water treatment is essential for a cutting oil reach high quality. Water quality varies according to the source of water supplied. The water used for making cutting oil is often recommended by oil producers as tap water from municipal construction companies, as it is analyzed daily and weekly and has detailed information on composition of them. The next component we learn is base oil. Base oils are generally divided into three types, it is emulsion oil, synthetic oil, semi-synthetic oil. Emulsion oil has a base oil composition of hydrocarbons obtained from petroleum distillation process, with very good lubrication, low cost, but poor microorganisms. Synthetic oil is a base oil that is composed of compounds that are synthesized in a factory with a complex synthesis process with pre-specified properties. Therefore, synthetic oil has more outstanding properties than mineral base oil, but due to its high cost and low compatibility, it also affects the level of use of synthetic oil. Semi-synthetic oil is a base oil that is a blend of mineral oil and oil. Synthetic to have improved lubrication than mineral oils and lower cost than synthetic oil. The next component, its surfactants. The surfactant is used to describe organic molecules consisting of two dissimilar groups in the same molecule. A group is a hydrocarbon chain that has a different structure and is soluble only in nonpolar solvents. Nonpolar solvents such as benzene, toluene and hexane. Because it is soluble only in nonpolar solvents, this group is also called the lipophilic fraction or hydrophobic tail of the surfactant. The second group in surfactants consists of polar groups that readily bind to or dissolve in polar solvents such as water, glycerol, formamide and other similar solvents. The next component, its lubricating additives. 
Because water-soluble cutting oil has a working medium that is mainly water and can account for 90-99%, which is an extremely good cooling medium but has poor lubricity, promoting rust, corrosive environment and formation. Therefore, for water-based cutting oils, it is necessary to add additives to help improve the above disadvantages such as, additives to improve viscosity, synthetic oil, fatty oil, ester oil, anti-rust additives, anti-corrosion additives, anti-microbial additives. The next component, its alkaline additives. Alkaline agent, co, amine, is added to cutting oil mixed with water with two. Main purpose. The first is to gradually neutralize the acidic properties generated by the process. Oxidation helps prevent metal corrosion. Second, is to adjust the appropriate pH index. pH is related to the oil's resistance to delamination, workability, rust and corrosion resistance, so pH is an important agent of water-based oil. The suitable pH range for water-based cutting oil is from 8.8 .8 to 10. The low pH index will promote microbial growth, while the high pH index will help prevent bacterial growth of microorganisms and prolonging the life of the oil. However, too high a pH index will irritate the skin, so proper pH value control is very important. Due to the limited time, my presentation today will be paused here. We will learn about the management and use of water-based oils in the next presentation. Thanks for everyone's listening.